So Larry, this is actually the casement window that we're going to be looking at here for your home. Now I know you've got uh, some double hung windows in a couple parts of the house, but this is specifically that window that we looked at earlier. The casement window is exactly what we're going to be putting in there and I think it'll work out really, really nice. So the first thing you can see, Larry, is you can again see that texture that we talked about. You can actually feel that around the edge. So again, Duracast material. And then the other thing I think you're going to like about this, Larry, you can see on your existing casement windows, you actually have two locking points. For your, so for you and your wife to open these windows, you have to unlock both the top and the bottom, correct? That's correct. So on this one, Larry, you just have to flip the one lever, which I'm going to go and let you flip that right there. Go and slide that up. So what you've done now, Larry, is you've actually disengaged both the top and bottom hooks with just the one lever. And then this is our fold flat handle. Now, I can see here as we went around the house, you've got these handles that do not fold flat and they're always poking out and kind of pushing out your blinds like you've got here right now. This fold flat hardware, this does come standard on the Impervia casement windows. Is that something you think you'd like to have? Oh, that's neat. Perfect. Go ahead and unfold that. Now that you've got it unlocked, go ahead and give that a crank, Larry, and you can actually see how that cranks to the outside. Oh, that's neat. Does that operate pretty easily for you? Absolutely. Good. Go ahead and take it all the way out for me, Larry. Go ahead and open it up all the way till it stops. Just like that. Keep going. I want to point out a couple things to you while we've got this thing all the way open. So a couple things. I don't know if you notice, this actually doesn't hinge way over here on the side. Did you notice it actually kind of pivots towards Pivot. the center? So you only have just a few casement windows upstairs and you said that cleaning, I know that isn't something that's super important to you guys, but who does most of the cleaning here? Is it you or your wife for the windows? <laughs> it's the wife. It's the wife, all right. One of the things I think she'll enjoy is being able to reach through right here and be able to wipe the exterior of the window from the inside. Do you think that'd make a little bit that's, clean a little bit easier on that second story? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Perfect. Well, I've also got this inside, Larry. I also want to point out some of the hardware that we have here. The hardware that we have that could be exposed to the elements is stainless steel. So it's going to be very corrosion resistant, again, durable. One of the problems you have with some of your casements, you're nervous that they even operate. They may have been rusted. There's all these things that could potentially be going wrong inside. Pell is going to be using a stainless steel hardware on all of your impervia casement windows that we're going to be using here on this. Does that make sense? That's a good thing. Perfect. You can see we've got a rubber gasket that goes all the way around the edge and we have another one here right on the inside that goes all the way around. You can actually feel it right in here if you can see that. Yeah. Nice little bulb. And what's nice about that is when you close these windows, it's going to seal nice and tight up against the entire frame. And again, since Duracast is so strong, seven times stronger than typical vinyl, it's a window that's going to stay nice and square because remember we've got those three different um, items holding the corners together. It's going to be a really good window. It's going to last you a long time and be very, very airtight, which is what we're shooting for. The other problem that we discovered, Larry, on the walk around is how the sashes on some of your windows are kind of sagged just a little bit. They're not sitting perfectly square within the frame. And what happens with that is all the weight of your windows, the way they lock, all the weight is always on the hinge. And when the sashes start to get a little bit out of square, the weather stripping doesn't line up around the edge. And so that's when you start to get those drafts, the water infiltration you had. That's where a lot of that stuff is coming from. On the Impervia casements, we have a little lock here. You can see it's called the Sherlock system. And I'm going to turn this so you can see it. Can you see what the first little motion is of that lock right there, Larry? Oh, yeah. Can you see what it's doing there? What is it doing there? It's pivoting up. It's pivoting up. So the very first thing our Sherlock system does, when you lock and close your windows, Larry, instead of us just having a latch that sticks out and grabs on, we're actually lifting up on the sash. By doing that on the Sherlock system, which is standard, it's going to evenly distribute the weight of the sash between the Sherlock and the hinge. So your sashes don't want to get lazy and kind of sag in the frame. They always stay nice and square, which looks nicer, but it's going to make the window be a lot more airtight because all the weather stripping is going to line up. And then the last thing, Larry, can you see what the last little motion is on this lock? Yeah, it's in. Pulls it to the inside. So what's really nice about this, Larry, is when you close and lock it, not only are we evenly distributing the weight of the sash equally between the lock and the, and the hinge itself, we're also pulling the sash in. So on ours, you have to cinch it real tight as you are closing it like you're doing with your current windows, which is part of the reason why a lot of the hardware started to strip out on your, on your windows. On these windows right here, you just have to close them just a little bit. Don't have to get all the way up against the frame. Get it to about right there. And go ahead and push down this lock, Larry, and watch what happens to the sash as you close it. Oh, it came right in. Came right in. Go ahead and put it all the way down. So now in this position, what you've got is a sash that's sitting nice and square inside the frame. It's evenly distributed between the lock and the sash. And again, you didn't have to cinch it shut. You let the, the locking mechanism actually draw it in nice and close to the frame there. Does that seem like the kind of feature you'd like to have on your next window? That's a good feature. Perfect. Now while I've got this out, 
I'm going to show you there's a screen here that goes on the inside and I've already shown you some of the screen samples and it sounded like you wanted just the conventional fiberglass upstairs but down here on the lower level especially where you have kind of a nice view you want to go with the in view mesh which is going to be a little bit more transparent for you to be able to go in and out. I know we already looked outside at the colors and you definitely want the brown exterior. I want to show you is this white color going to work well for you on the inside Larry? Yeah, that's a good match. Good. Well, I'm glad you'll be happy with that color. I think that'll look really nice here on the inside. One last thing I wanted to ask you about, Larry, is you notice in here there's some foam. Well, we do have the option for foam inserts to go on the inside of the frame. This is not something that's required by this Energy Star Zone that you live in. Is that something you think you might be interested in? I don't think so. Okay. Well, easy enough. So we'll just go with that white there then on the inside. Now, I've got a couple more questions for you here, Larry. It looks like all of the downstairs windows are going to have the white interior with the brown exterior. All of those windows are going to come with a white hardware that's standard, that no extra upcharge. While upstairs, those are all going to have brown interior and exterior, and those will all have brown hardware. So we have the option on the hardware to upgrade it from color match. You can upgrade always to a brass, a satin nickel, or an oil rub bronze. Are any of those finishes something that might appeal to you in any parts of the home? Uh, in this room, actually. Okay. This would actually be a pretty good room. That's a good idea because it looks like you've got some satin nickel handles and things like that throughout this area of the home. So would you be interested in upgrading maybe just the hardware in this one room to the satin nickel? I think so. Perfect. I'll make sure that we do that here. And I think that would be nice. I think it would really tie it nicely into the, the rest of the kitchen area that we have here. Well, the last thing I want to cover with you, Larry, on the Impervia product is the warranty. We've covered a lot of things today covering the items that I know you're really concerned about, about durability and um, aesthetics, and hopefully you find the window to be very attractive. Obviously, energy efficiency was important to you. We find that all that is really upheld by a really strong warranty. And at Pella, we believe that we have one of the best warranties in the business. So it all starts with the fact that we give you a limited lifetime warranty on the frame itself. That's the Duracast material that we've talked about. So, and again, it's because we do the powder coating that the three ways that we hold the corners together, those are all things that allow us to give you that kind of a warranty. The next one that we give you, Larry, is a 20 year warranty on the seal of the window. Now, have you seen what it looks like when you get a blown seal on a dual pane window before? Actually, I have. Okay. Does that happen to you at your old house before? Yes, it, yes, it did. I know that can be very frustrating for a lot of people because that's why we give you a real 20-year warranty that covers that. If your seal breaks, that's when you probably got that moisture between the two panes and you can't clean it from the inside or outside. At Pella, we consider that seal between the two panes of glass to be the heart and soul. And if that goes out, you're not going to be pleased with how it looks and you're certainly not going to be pleased with how it performs for you as well. So we give you a nice 20 year warranty on that.